everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel thank you for um, coming back to watch another video if you're a returning subscriber and welcome if this is your first one uh, my name is Beth I am 37 years old I guess I always forget but I think yeah 37 years old um, I'm a mom of one I live with my partner and my son and I use the cash budgeting cash envelope system to help me um, budget my paychecks. Um, so if that sounds interesting to you, please uh, subscribe to my channel so you can stick around and um, see what's going on here. Hold on, there's a dog. So today we are stuffing my second paycheck um, of August. So let's get started and uh, count the money. So we'll skip that for now. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60. So we have 160, 210, 220, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400. 405, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 500, and 5, 10, 15. So we're working with $515 today. So this is what is left after I pay all of my bills. So mortgage, utilities, um, internet, daycare, groceries, gas, all of that automatically comes out of my account when I get paid, um, as well as a little bit of savings and um, a debt payment. Excuse me. So, um, yeah, so this is what's left after all of that. This includes $50 from Mark because we do have some joint savings and. Yeah, I think that's all the information that you need. So this is what's left of my paycheck after I pay all my bills. I did write a budget here. It's just scribbles. So I'm going to set that to the side. Nobody will understand it but me. Um, and the first thing I like to do is to empty out my wallet. So for change, I have 55 cents, which I will put in my jar later. Um, I did roll all of the change that I had, um, in my mason jar because it was kind of filling up and I thought I would have a lot more than I did, but I think I ended up with like $105, which we are just putting towards, um, some fall clothes for Finn. So coffee is empty. Eating out has $10 left. And then groceries, Finley, and Beth, those are all empty. And I'm going to add this $10 to miscellaneous here. I was um, just trying to, I've been trying to figure out what to do with the extra money in my wallet um, for a while, whether I should save it or what. But um, life is so expensive right now, especially, not especially everywhere it is, but in Canada, it's just crazy. So um, I'd rather just keep the money in here for anything uh, that I'm going to need. Um, so for my wallet, I'm going to give myself $100. So we'll do 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. And this is my spending money for the next two weeks. Okay, coffee, I'm going to do 25 because that's how much automatically reloads onto my Starbucks card. And I say in every video, like, I'm not going to buy coffee, but I do. So I'm just going to accept that and prepare for it. Um, let's see, Finley can get 10. 
Um, mostly this is for cake pops. <laughs> he is obsessed with them. He like will see a Starbucks. He just turned two. He'll see a Starbucks at the window of the car and be like, cake pop, cake pop. So we'll give him that. Beth will give $30. I always have trouble opening these. $30. And then we have groceries and spending groceries I will put yeah I'm just gonna put ten dollars in groceries because I'm trying not to buy anything extra um, except for milk for Finn we always need and that leaves twenty dollars in eating out Okay, so that's my wallet stuffed and ready for the next two weeks. We'll set that to the side. And the next thing that we'll do is all of my um, savings. So in my savings challenge, I did take some money out of here. Um, I don't remember what, oh, for pizza we, ordered pizza one night and I took the money out of here. So I'm gonna work on putting this back. So $30 is going in here. I was doing so well with never taking money out of these, but then I I did last time. But, um, so that's $30. Next week I'll put in another $30 and then work on finishing this up. And that will be my second uh, $500 that I've saved. So that's great. Next, uh, let's go into this. This is my savings binder. So my emergency fund is going to get $20. So in my emergency fund, I have 100, 200, 300 in the bank, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 400. So $400 in my emergency fund. Finn's savings always gets uh, $10. So now in Finn's savings, we have 100 in the bank, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, $175 in Finn's savings. Car emergency fund is getting $10. So now we have 100 in the bank, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. So $180 in car emergency fund. Um, joint vacation, we each put $20. So 20, 40. And in joint vacation, we have we have 500, 600, 700, 20, 40, 60, 80, 820. Excuse my sniffles, I have a cold. I'm trying to keep it out of the video. Um, joint house, we each put $10 in. This is for um, that extra payment that uh, you can pay on your mortgage once a year. So we are saving up for our next one next July. Oh, so 20, 40, $50, $60. And then joint emergency fund. Again, we each put $20 in. So 20, 40. And now we have 1,100, 20, 40, 60, 80, two, 20, 40, 60. So $1,260 in our joint emergency fund, which is really nice. It's nice to see that kind of getting um, larger. Okay, next we will go to my long-term sinking funds. Car maintenance. I'm trying to put a little bit more money in here um, when I can. 
So I'm adding $20 this week. We are going to get our car undercoated um, next week. That's when they like spray the bottom of your car with this oil so that it um, helps protect the bottom in the winter against like all the sand and stuff they do on your road. I didn't know you had to do that, but uh, now we know that, so <laughs> we're gonna do it. And then we have to get our winter tires changed in November, I think, and an oil change then. So we've got quite a few car maintenance related things coming up. So I have 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 15, 20, 120 dollars. Fall, I'm going to give five dollars to just for fall activities to help fund those. So now we have 15 in fall. Winter, spring, and summer, I'm going to skip travel. I am going to put $30 in. Okay, so I'm gonna put down a 20 and take this 50. Um, so now we have 5075 to go to Toronto for work at the end of September. So this is what I'm using to pay for that. Vacation, I'm going to put $15 in. So now in vacation, I have 50, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100 dollars saved for vacation. Hosting is getting ten dollars. Shopping is getting ten dollars. You always want to shop when the season changes, so um, we'll see if I can resist and let this build up a little bit. So I have ten, fifteen, twenty. Next is days off, and that's going to get $20. I don't have any days off planned. Um, I've mentioned before that I'm on a contract at work, so I don't get vacation, paid vacation. So I save up for when I have to take time off. But so currently 20, 40, 45. chicken that's my niece and I'm gonna put five dollars in that's just to do something fun with her next time I get to hang out with her and then buffer is also getting five so now we have fifteen dollars in a buffer for these envelopes Okay, and then last but not least is my short-term sinking funds. So, Finley, I am going to put $10 in. Now we have 25. Clothing is getting $10. So now we have 15. Beauty is getting 10. So now we have $30 in beauty. Garden and decor is getting $5. So now we have 10. I'd really like to put some extra money in here because I love decorating outside for fall, getting those like baskets of mums and things. So See what I can do there. Date night is getting five. So now we have twenty dollars. Costco is getting forty dollars. Ten, twenty, thirty, thirty-five, 
40. We do have to go to Costco next week, so this will not cover it, but it will help. 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45 dollars. Gifts is getting five. So now we have twenty dollars in gifts. Health is getting five. Um, I need vitamins, but uh, with ten dollars in the envelope, it's not going to cover it. So I'll have to wait a little while to buy those. School is getting ten dollars. So now we have twenty dollars in school. Phone is getting nothing right now. Uh, giving is getting five dollars. So now we have fifteen. Groceries is getting five. All right, so we have 15 in groceries. This is just for any extra costs that we have for groceries. And last in this envelope, buffer is also getting five. So we have $15 in buffer. And that's it for this binder. I have $10 left. Um, I was going to put $20 in beauty, but decided to just put 10 because I forgot to budget for my Christmas savings challenge and I really want to try and prioritize that. So I have $10 to add here. I don't have any more $10 spots, so I'm just gonna set it here and I'll add it to something next time. All right, so that's it for this video. Thank you very much for sticking around and watching it until the end. Um, my next video is going to be my second Etsy cash, stock, cash stuffing. Um, and I'm actually having a sale in my Etsy shop from now, which is um, October 25th until, sorry, it is August 25th until August 31st. So um, I'll put the link for my Etsy shop below. And if you wanna check it out, you can get 20% off your order. Um, so that'll be my next video. And then I'm going to do a condensing video and then kind of an updated goals, financial goals for the rest of the year video. Um, so that is all coming before the end of August. So um, look out for those and I will see you in the next video.